everyone. Welcome to Tianjin University Ambassador Talks. My name is Stephen Joseph Tagal. I'm an Admission Promotion Ambassador of Tianjin University. And now we are going to look at the admission online application process through the portal of the Tianjin University of tju.80086.cn/student. Okay, so let's see how do you start your application uh, for this 2022. You get this website, start your application. If you haven't started your account, you should register your account. And before that, you can see here the complete information, right? So if you think that you haven't uh, read this website, you have to read this carefully because it will be very important for you. So first of all, you need to create your account. So when you create your account, you fill your username, email, family name, given name, passport name, nationality, okay? And then after you're filling all that, let's say you have completed, you will receive email, remember your email, that you will receive the information because that email will continue until the end of online application, okay? Do not be so panic or hesitant, just write everything that you need to remember before you start your online application. Okay, so if you have finished everything, you can log into the website. Okay, so you have logged into your uh, website here in the DJU portal. What did you do? Well, you have to have start your up online application. Uh, apply now, right? The website have English and Chinese translation, so you do not have to worry. First thing you do is that if you still have lack of information, you can visit the link in the description for any of your major scholarship, or you can see here, download the uh, RAR file here. This is actually the file where you will have the template of the uh, application that you need. For example, for undergraduate, master, you click I agree. And what path do you want to choose? Pre-admission for CIC type A, bachelor's degree, master program, doctoral degree, Chinese language program for you who wants to study Chinese, but you haven't have any HSK certificate. Yeah, you can apply for that. Foundation program is for you who has the HSK for but you want to increase your knowledge in Chinese language and the basic mathematics and science is Chinese, right? So whether you want to study foundation before you study bachelor or study foundation before, before you master and PhD. Senior scholar, if you are right now master and PhD, but you want to study another program for one year to take a break from your original study something, you can apply for senior scholar. General scholar is when you study undergraduate for already maybe more than one year and you want to study another program that is uh, entitled in the seniors, in the general scholar, you can apply for that. Exchange program, it is actually depending on the university and the cooperation with Tianjin University. If you wonder that your university have cooperation, please ask your university and please ask Tianjin University whether there is a program available for exchange program. So for this instance, let's see bachelor's degree. Let's say you want to apply for a bachelor's degree, right? For master and doctoral degree is basically the same. So you click next and then you wait. And then of course here you can see degree, choose your degree, uh, bachelor's degree, and choose your language. Let's say you are uh, only available in English so you can actually press search here. There are four available majors. So if you want to study Chinese, uh, you can choose your college, everything. It is according to your major application, okay? So let's see, for example, I want to apply for the degree of chemical engineering. You can see here, apply, just start your application and then you can uh, see, uh, you know, what type of majors do you want? So you click apply. Yeah, and here you can see here the uh, personal information. You fill all your personal information, passport, family name, given name, full name as in passport, your Chinese name. If you do not have a Chinese name, that is no problem. Your gender and then your nationality, 
your date of birth, country of birth, place of birth. If you're not in China, just say no. Okay, don't get confused on that. Native language. What is your native language? Okay, if you are from your country that you may have confused, for example, if you're from Singapore, there are a lot of native languages there. So, you know, just try to just choose one language, for example, English. Yeah. Your marital status, uh, whether you are married or not, your religion, your occupation, uh, employer, if you do not have, if you haven't worked, you just put strip here, okay? And you're living in your country, yeah. So for example, you are a native, uh, native Vietnamese, for example. So how long have you been living in Vietnam, for example? If you do not have WeChat, no problem. If you do not have Skype, no problem. But if you have, you can fill this. Your correspondence address, your address, your city, province, and then your current address. So you have to fill in this according to the, you know, your own address. And then your how to collect the admission notice. Basically, if we have been allowed to study in China offline, you will be uh, receiving the offline, sorry, the physical form of the admission notice and the visa application. So you have to be in, or in an address that you will live there until the online application finish because there's a possibility maybe that we will receive the physical form of admission notice, visa application and, and others, right? And then your passport and visa information, your passport, uh, expiry date, and this is which Chinese embassy you would want to apply your visa, okay? For example, if you're Indonesian, you want to choose which embassy that you want to apply, right? For example, in the embassy of People's Republic of China, uh, or maybe you can see here in another place that you want to go, okay? Please remember, this is the place where you would want to apply your visa. Have you been studying in China? Just say no, uh, make a strip like this, and then this is just, just do not feel that, just make a no, or you can choose here, pull, no, yeah, never, no, <laughs> and then your financial sponsor information, and then the guarantors information, emergency contact, and then you can save and continue, yeah. This information, all of it are safe in real time, okay, so you do not have to worry about you uh, about your information and then you can see here uh, an, in another tab application information so if you want to change to another course you should choose you know if you are unsure about your major just change it you can only apply to one major okay and then your reference type so you know if you see this video and you just know about Tianjin University you can write my name Right. If you want to reference contact, please contact me and, you know, we will discuss together about this online application, you know. Personal reference means you know this information from me. Yeah. So whether to apply for scholarship, it is important. If you want to apply for scholarship, click yes here. And then if you fail to get a scholarship, are you willing to study self-finance? It's according to you. If you say no, you will not be considered for the admission. Let's say you are chosen, but you didn't get a scholarship. If you say no, you will be say you will be not continued. But if you say yes, you will continue your admission by self finance. Okay, in case you fail to get your scholarship, and the reasons applying for scholarship, we just type here, and the referee information, someone that give you the reference for your recommendation, you can add here. And the language proficiency. If you have, you know, English proficiency or Chinese proficiency, you can just fill here of your information and your education background. Remember, your highest degree, meaning that if you are PhD, wanted to apply for a PhD, your highest degree is master. If you are uh, wanted to apply for a bachelor, your highest degree is your high school, high school graduate. Okay, and then work experience. So. Have you worked in China? Just say no and you don't feel anything of this. And your family members, okay? You make your family members there. And then,
then in the documents part, you can actually upload your valid passport, your medical report, uh, highest academic transcript. You have to make sure that your academic transcripts are in Chinese or English language, your graduate certificate, your study plan, study experience resume. You download the template if you do not know how to fill that. And then you can fill the template and then you can upload it. Certificate of non-criminal record or performance certificate, Chinese language certificate, and then the your language certificate, references, scholarship application form. Okay, remember whether you apply for Chinese government scholarship, Joseph scholarship, international student scholarship, uh, Peyang future scholar scholarship, and other scholarship. Fill the application form and you can submit the form here. And then your financial support certificate. And then let's say if you have award certificate, and then if you have visa, you can upload here. Okay. Remember to don't forget to fill all the important uh, information here. If there's a red, something like this, it is meant that it is compulsory. <coughs> and in more information, you can upload uh, your video introduction. It is extremely recommended for you to upload this because you know it's like making the committee to know you better and then your national background declaration uh, and then your award information if you have any received any award uh, guardian information if you are under 18 years old and then if you are bachelor sorry if you are master or phd if you have paper you can upload here and then other information if you are you know any other thing that you can fill here if no you just fill it empty and then you can save and continue remember that you can actually visit the last part you know you make sure everything is complete here in the online application form okay so it is very simple to fill the engine university application form if you want to apply scholarship you do not need to have separate application just fill the application form and you can submit in the documents form here and remember everyone that you have to main do you have to keep attention to everything that is required in this uh in the online application here at tju.at0086.cn slash student. Okay, so that is everyone about the information of the online application form. If you have any question, you can see in the context and you can contact me further. And then if you have any uh, other questions, you can also ask Tianjin University in your official website. Good luck, everyone. 2022 admission is still open for Tianjin University. If you have any questions or any other interesting content that you think I should make, please put in the comments below. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. And yeah, bye-bye, everyone.